mid-morning Tuesday at Mogadishu International Airport. This closed-circuit TV footage shows two airport workers handling what looks to be a laptop computer. Moments later, one of them gives the laptop to Abdullahi Abdisalam Borle, who soon after boarded a plane bound for Djibouti. That plane, Dallo Airlines Flight 3159, took off an hour later than scheduled. After about 20 minutes, there was an explosion inside the plane. The laptop was rigged, according to sources close to the investigation, to explode mid-flight. Borle was ejected out of the plane and left a gaping hole in the fuselage. This terrifying cell phone footage shows flight attendants moving people away from the hole, which was directly over the fuel tanks. But because the flight had been delayed, the plane had not yet reached cruising altitude and the cabin was not fully pressurized. Therefore, the explosion was much smaller and the pilot was able to turn around and land the plane safely. If the cabin had been fully pressurized, the explosion likely, according to experts, would have been catastrophic. This was not a technical fault, but a deliberate terror act. Somali authorities have arrested more than 20 people, they say, including the two men seen handing the laptop to Borle. No one has claimed responsibility for the explosion, but U.S. officials tell CNN they believe Al-Qaeda-linked Somali militant group Al-Shabaab is behind the attack. A team of FBI investigators is on the ground in Mogadishu assisting Somali police and intelligence to try to piece together exactly how this near disaster could have happened. Robin Creel, CNN, Nairobi.